Hi, so we're going to talk about using custom store procedures with Iron Speed. Today I'm using Iron Speed 10.02 uh, in VB and with SQL Server 2008 R2. Of course, you can use uh, C Sharp and other versions of SQL to suit, but we just thought we'd uh, start with the simple one and uh, show you how we can create a simple page with a simple grid um, and some simple data. Obviously, you can expend, extend on that later uh, and add your own levels of functionality as required. So where do we start? Well, there's several pieces to the puzzle. The first one is we need to create or have available our data, which we do in SQL Server. We then need to write the store procedure to call that and extract that information. And what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a parameter that tells us to pick a particular country or all countries. So let's go and look at the data and see what that looks like. So within uh, SQL Server, as I say, we've got a country table, and as you can see, I've got a list of countries and some additional information, 242. And if I just uh, show you the information in there, there it is. If I show you now the store procedure that we're going to create, you see it's very simple. I can either pass in, uh, sorry, that's the uh, test, there we go. This is the store procedure. We can either pass in a blank or we can pass in a name to select individual countries. So blank will select all and an individual one. Let's test that now. And if we go to my little test script here, if I pass in a particular name of a country and execute, sorry, let's just run that again. Here we go. We can see we've got Angola. If I were to leave that blank, i.e. pass in an empty string, we would get all records back. So we know the store procedure works, very simple. Now we're going to plug that into Iron Speed. So let's get rid of the SQL for a second uh, and bring up Iron Speed. Here we go. Um, let me just run this and show you this is a, a very simplistic Iron Speed created wizard um, that we use to, to create the page. And the page is using Iron Speed grids, as you probably all. Uh, hopefully uh, have used in the past to create your basic page. We obviously want to use the same data source but add our own grid and functionality. So we're not going to use the Iron Speed grid, we want to do our own thing. So where do we start? Well within Iron Speed I'm going to create uh, within the country type because that's the one we're going to uh, do the select on my own page. So let's just create a very simple uh, my SP, for example, call it what you like, it doesn't really matter, and that gives us a blank page. Now what I need to do is to put onto the page a couple of controls that are not found in the normal Iron Speed uh, toolbox, but they are part of the additional controls uh, found in ASPX and other controls. Okay, so we're going to perform, uh, or we're going to use a grid and a drop-down list. Now there's two ways we can do it, we can either drag and drop um, the drop down list like this, okay, or we can cut and paste uh, information. So I'm going to do the cut and paste because I've already uh, created this information. Um, in fact, here's one I created earlier. So I've got two items. As you can see, we've got a bit of uh, code there, ASPX code. So I'm just going to copy that and I'm going to paste it into my new one, okay, into the cell. And when I click off, there's my country. As we can see on the right hand side, it's a drop down list. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my grid, do the same thing. I'm going to copy and I'm going to uh, paste uh, into a new cell this time. And click OK. So now I've got the two pieces, the two components, the two controls on my page. OK. And as you can see with the drop down list, I've got, given it an ID. OK, and it's auto post back is true. That's important because when I change the drop down, I want the grid to change the filter settings. The grid itself is a standard ASPX grid view um, with uh, a sort of a, an event for when the index changes um, and a bit of styling. Very simple, very basic. So this is what it looks like on the page. But of course, I need some code behind to drive it. OK, before I can do that, I need to just compile it and build it. OK, so now we've got the basics. And if we look over to the left, we can see we've got some code behind. Now in that code behind, I need to put my code behind. 
um, and I can only put it in section 1 it's no good me putting it into section 2 which is down below this is uh, not to be modified okay so my code must go in section 1 again I've uh, pre-written the code so we don't have to type it in again and I'll take you through each each line of that so let me just copy that from over here and we're going to paste that in to here okay now as you can see um, if we scroll back up slightly I'm doing this completely within iron speed I could of course and it's preferable if you've got Visual Studio to use Visual Studio because then you can make use of the, the superior editing and debugging tools but essentially what I've done is created a region with my code in okay and that code it's only you know 50 odd lines long it's not a lot so the first routine is going to load um, the drop-down list and that will load in all of the countries from my table so that I can choose one of those from the drop-down to filter the grid underneath so that's the first bit of code that needs to be written the second piece of code um, is the selected index change i.e. when you change one of the entries in the drop down list you want to fire off the load grid control to reload the grid and that's what this line here does obviously the actual loading of the data from the grid is here okay and that effectively does a rebind um, and then calls my um, straw procedure as you can see here which we'll cover in a second so the data source is the return set from the store procedure it's just a record set uh, nothing special about it the next routine is the page index changed so when we move through the pages on the grid we expect an event to fire so that we can reload data and move to the next page okay the next bit then really the last bit of our um, code customizations required is the store procedure call okay and this is the bit that we're really interested this is the bit that will populate the grid okay so um, as you can see it returns a data set and it's the data set that gets bound to the grid and what we're doing essentially is to call the store procedure okay and we're going to pass in a parameter and that parameter is going to be a uh, country if you remember back to the store procedure uh, in SQL it had one parameter and that was the country okay so we're just setting up some basic um, parameters here that but and then we pass in those parameters into the call okay you need to pass in the name of the connection from the web config the name of the store procedure and your parameters you then run the query and that will return hopefully if everything works the data set or nothing if it failed okay so once the codes in here we need to build our application and test it so I'm going to go back into my uh, page view I want to save that let's do a build okay and then if we run that now in fact let's make our page the default page okay so when we run it we should get the page and we should have a couple of controls on the page one being the drop down one being the grid okay pick a Albania and now you can see the grid has populated uh, with just that one row of information on a okay fairly basic looking grid but it's um, just to prove the point that we can obviously you can style it later let's go and pick another country there we go it refreshes automatically uh, and let's go if we go please select ie nothing then we expect the grid to show all countries let's see if that works and there we go of course it's paginated so as we move through each page depending on the content there we go we've got a paginating grid so that shows you how easy it is to create um, information outside of iron speed but use it within iron speed this course could be anything this could be an uh, information on a, a chart uh, could be we've done it on a grid uh, could be a report or whatever so we pulled the information in bound it to our control uh, and away we go all within iron speed well I hope you enjoyed that and found that useful uh, my name is Tim Titchmarsh from .NET Architect based in the UK if we can help you please give us a call or email me at timt at .netarchitect.co.uk 
we'd be happy to help. Many thanks for listening.